Before I get into today's video, I implore you to go to my Brydian channel, which is not monetized by the way, and neither were my old YouTube channel, nor my current YouTube channel. Click on the playlist tab and look for the playlist Trump Messiah claims made by rabbis and Trump supporters. Watch the videos in this playlist if you want more context concerning the topics that I am going to cover in today's video. All praise, honor, and glory be to the Most High. Daniel 11, verse 21. And in his estate shall stand up a vile person, to whom they shall not give the honor of the kingdom. But he shall come in peaceably, and obtain the kingdom by flatteries. Daniel 11, verse 23. And after the league made with him he shall work deceitfully. For he shall come up, and shall become strong with a small people. John 5, verse 43. I am come in my father's name, and ye receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him ye will receive. Points about Trump to consider. Right-wing, conservative evangelicals and Jews, allegedly, voted Trump into the Oval Office in 2016. Trump has claimed in three different media interviews that he's never asked the Most High for forgiveness, nor does he feel the need to. He claims to be a Presbyterian. In an old media interview, Trump looked up in the sky and yelled, I am the chosen one. Trump believes he is only the second most famous person in history, after Messiah Yahushua slash Jesus. Trump has boasted of having done more for all the religions and faiths of the world than anybody else has. Trump has read the snake poem over a dozen times since 2015. Trump has been caught playing the Rolling Stones song Sympathy for the Devil at many of his pep rallies. Trump received the Jewish Tree of Life Award a while ago, which rests as a plaque on the wall in his New York Trump Tower office. Trump declared Jerusalem the eternal capital of Israel and relocated the American embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem. Trump has his face engraved next to the Persian King Cyrus's face on a silver half-shekel coin, which the Sanhedrin minted and released to the public. Trump retweeted a tweet from his loyal supporter Wayne Allen Root's Twitter feed that boasts about Trump being like the second coming of God and the King of Israel. People worldwide have made statues of Trump, parade floats, coins, toys, statuettes, shrines, etc. He's been called an idol by many adults and children. Trump's daughter Ivanka converted to Judaism to marry her Jewish husband Yard Kushner. Trump has a town in the Golan Heights named after him called Trump Heights, which the Israeli leader Benjamin Netanyahu named after Donald. Trump has been quoted by many people as being the most pro-Israeli American president of all time. Trump has been called either the American Messiah or Messiah Ben David or Messiah Ben Joseph by several Jewish rabbis and political supporters. Trump has a train station in the old city of Jerusalem named after him. Trump brokered the Abraham Accords between America Israel, Bahrain, the United Arab Emirates Morocco and Sudan, something that no other past American president has even come close to doing. Trump has his signature engraved on the Abraham Accord silver half-shekel coin, which the Temple Mint also minted and released to the public. Trump made Judaism a national identity in America while he was still in the Oval Office. There is a square next to a shopping mall in a city in Israel called Trump Square. Trump is the mastermind behind Operation Warp Speed. Trump claims to be the father of the gene editing clot 19 shots. The Jerusalem Boys Choir keeps singing a song called Super Trump in honor of Donald Trump. Some of the lyrics to the song are Super Trump, he's Jerusalem's prince. When you translate the word MAGA from Latin to English, you get the word witch. MAGA is also the fifth and highest degree in Anton Lawe's Church of Satan. Mar a Lago, when you translate these words from Spanish to English, you get the word Sea to Lake. Trump was escorted around a racetrack in his presidential limousine called The Beast at a NASCAR Daytona event a few years ago. Trump received the Theodore Herzl Medallion from the Zionist Organization of America on November 13, 2022. I could go on and on about this topic, but I won't for the sake of time. Revelation 2, verse 9. I know thy works, and tribulation, and poverty, but thou art rich, and I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews, and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Revelation 3, verse 9. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews, and are not, but do lie, behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet, and to know that I have loved thee. What a great day November 13th, 2022 was, in my opinion, because at a gala held in New York City, your organization awarded its highest honors 
to former President Donald Trump. And you gave him credit, you gave him props for being, quote unquote, the best friend Israel ever had in the White House. I definitely think his record uh, deserves that statement. Tell us a little bit about how you gave Trump respect. We are the only significant Jewish group that honored Donald Trump and told him, thank you. Thank you for being the greatest friend Israel has ever had in the White House, ever. We gave him our Theodore Herzl Award. This is an award we've given seven or eight times throughout our history. Yeah, we've given it to David Ben-Gurion, Menachem Begin, Winston Churchill, uh, Lord Balfour. <laughs> so only the, the, made, the biggest public officials in the world have received this, and we thought Donald Trump deserved this because he moved the embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem. He recognized the Golan Heights as being sovereign territory for the Jews. He cut off all the aid to the Palestinian Arabs. Uh, uh, he cut off all the aid to UNRWA. This is a, uh, a UN group that trains Arabs to hate Jews and kill them. It, it's astonishing what I'm saying. Uh, and he made peace uh, with uh, uh, a number of Muslim countries, Bahrain, United Arab Emirates, uh, Sudan, uh, and, and, and Morocco. And uh, 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 so he deserved for Jews to say thank you. Instead, the Jews have never supported him. Uh, Maybe 20% of the Jews voted for him, 80% voted for uh, uh, Hillary Clinton, uh, for Joe Biden over Donald Trump, even though he's the greatest friend uh, that Israel has ever had. And by the mm. way, he was a pretty good president for America as well. Mm. Things were pretty good in America under Donald Trump. So we honored him. And when he walked in that room in New York City, in Pier 60, he got a five minute standing ovation. They wouldn't stop applauding. It was really something. Mort, am I correct that you guys even had to turn people away? There was no more room at that event. You couldn't even sell any more tickets. No, it was a, a packed house, a packed house. Uh, part of the packed house was because there was so much media there. <laughs> uh, and I was attacked. So many people called me, uh, condemning me for honoring Donald Trump. I said, look, uh, whatever negatives you perceive of Donald Trump, we honored him for what he did for Israel. That's what we are. We're a pro-Israel group. You do great things for Israel, we will honor you. <laughs> yeah. And uh, no, I, I was attacked by many officials, many leaders called me, I won't mention their names, called me up personally and said, you are, you are disgusting to honor such a terrible human being. <laughs> I, 